Greetings tubulosauruses and tubulases. This is uh, one of my gun and such videos. And uh, what happened was I went to the gun show with my daddy and my sister. And uh, I found me a, a, a Turkish Mauser of 1936 uh, vintage. And it's got the... I don't know if you can see that, the Turkish thingies there with a crescent. And it's got this Arabic hieroglyphic script stuff there. And everywhere it's got these little crescents on just about every bit. So uh, this thing's pretty much all Turkish Mauser. Now I pulled the, the uh, cleaner rod out of it. And I want to see what's under this stock a little bit. And I'm going to pull the bolt out of it. It's got a pull down bolt. And the safety, that's, that's go. This is the middle. And then this is safe. And I'm going to put it in the middle. And uh, pull the bolt back. And it's got this little lever you pull back out. The bolt comes out. Yay! Bolt face is not ringed. But I've seen better. I think it'll still shoot. Uh, shoots a 7mm Mauser. No, it's an 8. Sorry, there's an 8mm Mauser. It goes in its hole here. And there's a bunch of, you can put a bunch of them in this place here. But we're not going to do that today because I don't feel like putting my eye back in the socket. But I'm going to give it a little bit more of a uh, look-see look under this stock, if I can remember how to do it. Okay, push this down here. And the barrel band moves about that far and sticks. Uh, all military rifles are built where they can come apart pretty easy in the field. Don't beat on your antique Mauser, by the way. Okay, get the barrel band off. You can see the little spring you push down that locks the barrel band in there. And that it's got a notch in it. And uh, remember which way this come off because your uh, bayonet won't go on there right. I haven't found a bayonet yet. But I will get me a bayonet so it'll be complete. Maybe a bandolier and one of them towel things that goes on your head make you look pretty cool. Uh, I used to know what they were called. Anyway, I'm losing all my culture. That's the barrel band here, and then there's another one right here. You push down on this lever here with your good hand. And you wiggle it off with a screwdriver. This is pretty common to all Mausers, I think. And reading up on some Mausers last night on what I could find, and this barrel knocks off. And this is uh, the barrel spring. This is a lot of military guns has this. Why? Because it's cheap. They just cram a thing in there and stick them together. My M1 carbine's got one. All sorts of stuff's got one. I don't know. If this is going to be some of these, excuse me, this is a slippery little, this is the tailgate of the dirty dodge. Sometimes these screws, and these screws are all wallered out. And tight! But, how some ever, I don't know if this has got to come off or not. For the stock to raise up. Don't want to bust the old thing. Ugh. 
And um, this is one of them things where there's a button here. I used to know what I was doing. But now it's all just kind of a mystery to me since I got my head knocked open. So there's a button here you push down. And I don't think you've got to do anything else but do that. And this is supposed to come forth. It's hotter than the blazes out here, by golly, out here by the in the woods and the wild world. Maybe it'll need some tape or some stuff here. It's got a million scratches on it and beats and bangs, and I don't know from whence it was. Yeah, I'm down all the way. Yeah, don't beat on your Mauser. Holy smokes. Hokey smokes. Well, I'm gonna... Shouldn't have to do this. But, you know, this is just something to uh, do later. Once I get it all cleaned up, it'll come apart the right way. It's just hidebound. You can look that up, hidebound. It's just hidebound on whatever creature this thing has been laying next to. Now there is a nice little boogered up bolt. Look like they've been taking these apart with shivas and butter knives and stuff. Which uh, I have to say I use a butter knife on some of this stuff because you can heat, you can bend the end of a bend the end of a butter knife up in an L. That'll need to be cleaned up. Oh, baby, come on. Come on, give me some loving. Shouldn't have to do this. This is supposed to come out and pop down. But anyway, there that is. This slides off. And I think it holds five. Five things. There's a... Something from a nice air up. There's a good crack right there, by golly, boys and girls. And this comes off. Wahaha. You'll be the first to see all this stuff that's been in here. This is all sand from the from the deserts of of the world. There is some some sand there. Boy howdy. But still, it's not ugly. Oh, look how filthy this is. Look at this here, boys and girls. That's got the dirt from a thousand pyramids. Wait, here's a thing stamping right here. Moses. Moses was here. Oh, oh, yeah. I think he was a... I don't know. But uh, I'll have this all cleaned up. Now this, this is a, this is a thought here. This needs to come off. And usually this screw don't have them captured. At least not on the German variants. But that boy's got it captured by gosh. And I don't have a, I may have to take a tool and make a screw. Better, oh, there you go. Give your milk down, girl. Sit there. You moved some, Larry. Not Larry. Been thinking about Larry some today, too. Mm. 
Oh, you dirty dog. It doesn't have enough groove in it to left in it to do what's right. I can just catch on a little bit. Chin pressure. But now that'll have to come off and in series. Don't have to worry about no bluing under this thing. This is going to have to get a bath. It says made in Turkey caliber Cal ST Albivt 8 mm I think they stamped that in there after they re arsenal these things. Um, I don't know if you all know, but, but all military rifles and weapons and pistols and underwear gets uh that's a sharp little thing could you see that you see that right there i don't remember that rascal being sharp but it may have to be that way when they cram it into the into there's the hole that it receives that may save them from having to drill a hole they just poke it in there and it makes a hole Anyway, these uh, military rifles and pistols and underwear and stuff gets re-arsenaled from time to time depending on the army and their specs. Oh, my ears. Full of dirt. I had to get down in the dirt the other day. Or this morning. Uh, so, they, at certain times you send your weapons in and you get fresh weapons. And especially so if you're fighting on the war and stuff. They hand you out a, a different weapon and they take your weapon in and they take it apart and if there's any changes that they made any changes for the good they make them improvements and cram them back to you or to somebody else they don't they never go back to the same person when you're dealing with you know half a million soldiers and soldier ads uh, so sometimes these things, they tear them apart and then they put the improvements on them or not and they clean them up and they check all the bores and check the clearances and things and then they cram them back together and reissue them. Well a lot of times uh, the same piece of gun, the same barrel don't get along, don't get to be put back on the same receiver and the same outfit don't fit the same stock and the bolt's different. They just throw these in a bucket and uh, you got some guy with me, like some guy like me with a hammer putting them together. So finding one with all the stuff with the numbers matching is very difficult. Collectors love that kind of stuff because anything that makes it difficult to find makes the value go up. Which, you know, they got to count on something. To make the value go up because the only thing that makes values go up is the collector value and that's uh, always what the collectors do oh i thought it had my initials on it but it's just a, a thing but anyway that's a that's a mauser tuck apart and from turkey even the ottoman empire i'll say ottomans is a neighbor Hi neighbor. Holy cow, here he comes. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight to you. I love you. Bye bye.